Hi, dear learners. How are you? You are welcome to Cavis Oxford. You know, Cavis Oxford is an English language institute founded by former assist professor Dr. Pukhan Burwa. Department of English, Kaza Unisani University and Newcastle University College, Chicago. And today you are going to learn English with Kokan Burwa and it's me. Okay. You know, learning English language is a continuous natural process. That means, if you really have intention to learn, to develop your English language proficiency, you have to be regular, you have to collect our regular lesson that we will provide for your better benefit. So, regularity is important here. Okay. Let's start our today's lecture. So, it's about continuous pattern. You know, tense is of three kinds mainly, and each tense has four aspects. So, there are 12 aspects of tense. We can say 12 kinds of aspects. And in this table, there are 12 subsidiaries. Before understanding main pattern, we need to know how many tips are there. This is tip 1 and it's a list of auxiliary you have already known them now. And this is tip 2. In tip 2, I have corrected all the auxiliaries of continuous tenses. And is up in the first box, was a in the second and shall will be in the future. Shall be will be. Here actually I have shortened. I have shown you how to use shortened form. For is plus not isn't. For am not ain't or are. For are plus not are. For first continuous tense was plus not wasn't. Where plus not where. And the future continuous tense. For the future continuous tense shall plus not shun. Will plus not on. Actually, so it's not a comma, it's an apostrophe. To correct or join two words together, we need to use apostrophe. And some letters are actually omitted from those two words. And those words sounds like one word. Okay. Now here you see, in tip 3, a list of principal verbs. Principal verbs are actually main verbs. And there are not many, only a few. I told you earlier to collect the complete list of principal verbs. You have to contact with us either through our mobile or you can have us available on Facebook. It's Kavis Oxford. Or to get our regular lesson, you have to subscribe our YouTube channel. It's Kavis Oxford. Just remember it, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now tip 3, 4. We have already finished uh, up to tip 3, now we are in tip 4. So tip 4 is actually the complete pattern. In the above line, this line is affirmative sentence, the second is negative, third is negative, and the fourth is negative and implicative sentences. Okay. This is present continuous tense, this is first continuous tense, and this is the future continuous tense. Before starting, I have enlisted all the subject phenomena here that we have discussed in our previous lecture 2. Lecture 2, you can correct lecture 2 uh, on spoken English. This lecture, 
uh, it should be like said three on spoken English. Okay, so I have enlisted all the auxiliaries, eight auxiliaries, uh, all the uh, what subject, all the subjects. You, you see, I, we, you, they, he, she, it, Ria. In the second line also I enlisted them, and in the third line also I have done so. After subject usually comes auxiliary, respective auxiliary for the continuous tense, M is our first, for first continuous also for future continuous shall will be. So after subject comes auxiliary verb M, we usually use M after I, first person. Then verb in ing form, you know, B plus ing, B plus ing, B plus ing. While using main verbs with all the continuous tenses, we need to add ing to the base form or present simple form and this is called first participle verb for form and i have used eight verbs starting from the first one tell where try go cut come do get hide sing okay let's start i am telling a story i am telling a story or i aren't possible i have added here am i telling a story am i telling a story in the first one instance, I was telling a story, I wasn't telling a story, was I telling a story, wasn't I telling a story. In the future one instance, I will be telling a story, I won't be telling a story, will I be telling a story, won't I be telling a story. I have finished 12 sentences with I. Now I should start uh, with we. We are, we are means we are wearing dress, we are wearing dress, are we wearing dress, are we wearing dress. In first one instance, we are, we are means we are. Wearing dress, we are wearing dress, why are you wearing dress, or are you wearing dress? In future, who will be means either we shall be or will be. I told you earlier to use shall we after the past person we usually use shall traditionally. And for rest of them we can use will. But in modern English we can use will for all the subject in form of pronouns or subject. Okay. Now I have finished total. Two. Subject number two, that means total uh, another seven, 12 sentences. Now I need three. Three is subject you. You are trying means you are trying, you are trying, are you trying, aren't you trying? You are trying, you are trying, are you trying, or aren't you trying? You will be trying, you won't be trying, will you be trying, or you be trying? Now I mean four. They are. That is they are. Going there. They aren't going there, are they going there, aren't they going there? They were means, they were means they are going there, they aren't going there, where are they going there, aren't they going there? They will be going there, they won't be going there, will they be going there, aren't they going there? Now I mean, fit, he, his means he is cutting trees, he isn't cutting trees, is he cutting trees, isn't he cutting trees? His means he was cutting trees, he wasn't cutting trees. Was he cutting this? Was he cutting this? And in three second steps, he will be means he will be cutting this, he won't be cutting this, will he be cutting this, or he be cutting this. Now I mean, sixth, she's singing means she is singing a song, she isn't singing a song, is she singing a song, isn't she singing a song? For first continuous, she's singing means she was singing a song, she wasn't singing a song, was she singing a song, wasn't she singing a song? For future, she will be singing a song, she won't be singing a song, will she be singing a song, or she be singing a song. Now I am in seven. It means it is coming here, it isn't coming here, is he it coming here, isn't it coming here? It means it was, it was coming here, it wasn't coming here, was it coming here, wasn't it coming here? For future, it will be means it will be coming here, it won't be coming here, will it be coming here, or it be coming here? Now I am in the last one. Ria is doing homework, HW is homework, Ria isn't doing homework, will Ria be doing homework, uh, yes, uh, is Ria doing homework, isn't Ria doing homework. For first one instance, Ria was doing homework, Ria wasn't doing homework, was Ria doing homework, wasn't Ria doing homework. For Fisa, Ria will be doing homework, Ria won't be doing homework, will Ria be doing homework, won't Ria be doing homework. I have finished all. That means I have finished eight for the first one in the same way, another eight, third eight, and fourth eight. Total traditional for the first line. That means 
for the first present continuous tense, for the first continuous in the same way, another tidy to, and for the last future continuous tense, another tidy to. So there are, I have shown you 96 sentences. Okay, how you can use this pattern? First of all, you have to copy tip 1, tip 2, and tip 3 in a separate place of your copy. After that, you need to make a pattern like this. In the pattern, there must be 1, 2, 3, 4, and here, 12 continuous perfect continuous. And keep the pattern done first, then you should start with 1. Okay, people studying and listed all the subjects, all the eight subjects, subject from here, like me, then you should start with one. Please don't copy all first. You should start with one, finish four, then with one, with I finish four, and then with I finish four. After finishing twelve, then you should start with we subject. And finish twelve, in the same way, after finishing twelve, you should start with you. Finishing 12, you should start with that. Finishing 12, you should start with he. Finishing 12, you should start with she. And by the same way, after finishing all, you need to speak or read them out loud to be fluent in speaking. Yes, another one thing you mustn't forget is avoiding Bengali. You know, if you don't write Bengali, besides all the English sentences, you will learn, but you will be a bit confusing. So if there is, there is any confusion of your learning, in that case, you will not be confident, fluent, and skilled in using in English language. That's why, please write Bengali sentence beside all the English sentences like this, the above one. And I think, uh, you must be able to learn English within a very short time if you follow our lectures serially and regularly. Okay, keep in believing us and collect our daily lessons. And I am closing here. I think you must give us a like and you mustn't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Kavis Oxford. That's all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you next time.